You have just three days. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Tomorrow, you can't predict tomorrow. Yesterday is gone. Today is the avail only day at your disposal. Today, you have the right to make use of today. This is the only day at your disposal. You do not know tomorrow. You do not know what will happen. Number two, everybody in hell now has turned into emergency missionary. They desire that their relatives, friends, will not come the way. Everybody in hell has become a prayer warrior. There are, there are prayers in hell. But hell is a place where prayers are not answered. Because they were here. Son, remember, while you were breathing, you had an opportunity. Opportunity to repent. I talked to somebody, I do not know your name. Are you born again? Are you really ready? And permit me to ask you, is your name still in the book of life? I know there was a time your name was written in the book of life, but it is still in the book of life. God has a standard. Look at the standard of God. Except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Whether you're a millionaire, billionaire, quadrillionaire, zillionaire, Paul says the Lord, for the kingdom, there's a standard. For the church participation, there may be no standard. The church is an open window, open door. Anybody can come in. I mean, for donation, there is no standard. You can give any amount. You can even build a skyscraper for God. But as for heaven, you can go to hell anyhow, but you can't go to heaven anyhow. Heaven! Nobody goes to heaven by surprise. You can't say, I didn't know I would have made it. I was a careful sinner, a hypocrite in the cathedral. I mixed up myself. I was deceiving them with my offerings and donations. They didn't know me. I shook hands with the pastor. I shook hands with who is who in the church. They called me name, gave me position. There is this story by a comedian that I want to recall. He said that in one orthodox tower, they like to put towers in their cathedral. There's a bird that pitches there every Sunday morning. When the people will begin to come to church, the bird will begin to say, <laughs> Now the same people, now the same people, when the bird was asked to explain. He said, on Saturday night, that same bread goes to the burial ground. Watch people coming to do invocation. Watch people coming on Saturday night to invoke the dead. Then on Sunday morning, the same people that went to the burial ground with dust of their Bible marched to the church walking sanctimoniously. And the bird that saw them on Saturday night will begin to say, <laughs> Now the same people, now the same people, where did you go this week? Where did you go last week? What did you do in the dark room? What did you do in that village? And today, welcome to the church again with your Bible. Listen, God has a standard. We are here even to partake. What did you partake of? 
Which table did you partake in? Before you position yourself to partake in the table of the Lord again today, will that bed say of you, God has a standard. Human popularity does not mean divine popularity. He knows the way that I take. A day shall come when the secret of every heart shall be revealed. The church also should have a standard. Anything goes denomination is a dangerous church. Any church that has no standard for the people that wants to make heaven will lead them into hell. I pray that God will help us do a personal checkup. God has a standard. God will not compromise his standard. Am I really born again? If I am not, here is an opportunity. I don't want to repent when it will be too late. I want to make peace with the almighty God. Because beyond churchianity, there is Christianity. Beyond being here, there's a relationship with the almighty God. But If you're not a heavenly candidate, even as you're seated, your conscience tells you. But make haste while the sun shines. Because tomorrow might be too late. Bow your heads in prayer.